Hi my little loves, happy fun Friday. We are back here for another day of learning. I love getting to see you on YouTube even though I don't actually get to see you see you. Um, I love that you guys get to watch these videos and do the work that I assign. And I really, 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 really miss doing that with you inside the classroom. But this and our Zoom calls have at least made me smile that I do get to still see you guys and that you get to still do the work. Okay, so we're still learning about insects this week. So how many legs does an insect have? Six, very good. How many parts to its body? Three, very good. Okay, what do they like to eat? Just about everything, right? Where do insects live? just about everywhere right so we've been learning about this that we uh that this week and we've been learning about bees specifically i hope you enjoyed our zoom call yesterday with miss mary jane and so today we're going to be watching the book on the screen again you're going to do literacy you're going to do math and you're going to come back here for relaxation station all right so get ready for our book i'll see you soon bye honeybees there are thousands of different kinds of flying insects. One kind is the bee. There are about 20,000 kinds of bees. Wow. The four kinds of bees we may see the most are honeybees, that's this one, bumblebees, carpenter bees, and sweat bees. Honeybees. One very important kind of bee is the honeybee. Honeybees are social insects and live in colonies. It says bee facts. Bee colonies can show up anywhere, including inside buildings and trees. Look at that honeycomb in there. Who remembers what shape that is? A hexagon, very good. These colonies build homes called hives. Inside the hive, the bees build a comb made of beeswax. This says a comb looks like lots of hexagons. Three kinds of bees live in a hive. A queen bee, drone bees, and a work and worker bees. Each kind has a special job. So the queen bee, there is only one queen bee in a hive. Her job is to lay eggs, just like your mom, right? There's only one mom in the house, no matter how many children she has, right? Drone bees. Drone bees are male, meaning they're boys. Their job is to mate with the queen. So here are the drone bees. Worker bees. Worker bees are female, so they're girls. Most of the bees in the colony are worker bees. Worker bees build the hive and comb and collect pollen and nectar. Honey bee parts. So remember, we have the head over here. Here are the eyes. These two things sticking out from the head are the antenna. Very good. After the head, we have the, this word, thorax. Good. And the thorax has the legs, right? The how many legs? Six, good. Here's the abdomen at the back, right? Different than us. The abdomen has what inside? Their stu stomach, very good. And then we have the wings over here. Honeybees have three main body parts, the head, thorax, and abdomen. They also have six legs, and this makes them insects. Honeybees at work. Honeybees help pollinate plants. They fly from plant to plant and collect the pollen. They carry the pollen on their legs in pollen sacs. Remember we learned about that, right? Honeybees also collect nectar. That's the sweet liquid inside the flower. They use their proboscis to suck nectar from the flower. The proboscis is their long tongue. Bees store the nectar and pollen in the comb. The nectar turns into honey. The bees use the honey and the pollen for food. Ouch! Only female bees have a stinger. 
The stinger is used if the bee or colony feels threatened, meaning they think that something's trying to get them. The sting of a honeybee is painful. It will cause a sore spot and swelling. Once a honeybee uses its stinger, it dies. So bee facts, when a honeybee stings, its stinger gets pulled from a body, from its body. This kills the honeybee. So they don't like to use their stinger because they know they're going to die, but they will if they feel that the colony is going to be threatened. Have you ever been stung by a bee? I've actually been stung, I think, three times in my whole life, and it does hurt. Honeybees play a very important role in nature. If you see a honeybee, don't be afraid. Don't bother it, and it won't bother you. So if you don't bother the honeybee, it really won't come after you. I only got stung by a bee because one time I stepped on one, so then I got stung by it. And one time it actually landed on my head and I tried to swat it away, and then it felt threatened, so then it stung me. But otherwise, if you don't bother the bee, it won't bother you. The end. Here's the glossary if you want to pause this and go over all of this vocabulary. All right, everybody, it's Fun Friday Circle Time. Let's see who our person is going to be today, our helper. Oh, it's Chef Chris, everybody. I think I surprised you, right? All right, Fun Friday. Chef Chris, can you tell us what month we are in? We are in May. May. Can you spell May? M-A-Y. Great. What number are we on in May? 22nd. 22, right. And so the first number in 22 is? A 2. A 2, and that tells us we're in the? 20s. 20s, good. The next one is a? 2. And the 2 says where we are in the 20s, right. What, how many days have we been in school? 153. Good. How many numbers do we see there? 3. 3. What's the first number? 1. 1 tells us where in the? 100s. The 100s. Good. The next part is? 5. And that tells us where in the? 10s. On the 50s. Good. All right. Chef Chris hasn't done this I before. Done he this. doesn't know. <laughs> and what's the next number? The three. Three, and that tells us where we are in the 50s. Good. Can you count by 10s to 153? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 151, 152, and 153. Great job. Thank you. Uh, Chef Chris, what's our shape of the month? Octagon. Octagon. How many sides does it have? Eight. Eight. Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. And can you count how many points it has? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Thank you. What are our two colors of the month? We have black and white. Perfect. Can you spell black? B-L-A-C-K. Perfect. Can you spell white? W-H-I-T-E. Great job. Uh, what season are we in? We are in spring. Spring. Can you spell spring? S-P-R-I-N-G. Great. What's our trait of the month? Patient. Patient. Can you read that? To remain calm while waiting your turn. To be able to accept delays or problems without complaining. To have self-control when something is hard. Good. So can you tell us a time where you had to be patient? I had to be patient while waiting in traffic. Yes, that's a big <laughs> one, right? That's a big one when adults have to be patient. We have to use self-control, right? No not like bang, <laughs> not bang on the steering wheel or start yelling at people in the car next to us. And we just kind of have to accept it, right? We're sitting here in traffic. There's nothing we can do about it. So we're going to remain calm. Great example. What's our theme for this week? Insects. Can you spell that? 
I-N-S-E-C-T-S. Good. And what is our weather? Can you spell the word? Uh, say the words. <laughs> Sunny, cloudy, partly cloudy, rainy, foggy, windy, and snowy. Great job. What are our temperature words? We've got cold, cool, warm, and hot. Perfect. What's our sight words for this week? Her and want. Good. So can you spell her? H-E-R. And can you use that in a sentence? Many women like her curly hair. <laughs> Meaning who's her? Me? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> That's good. And can you spell want? W-A-N-T. Good. Can you use that in a sentence? My boys want my food. Yes, that is true. Yes. <laughs> All your boys want your food. All right, very good. All right, Chef Chris, can you tell everyone bye, everybody? Bye. Hi, everybody. Welcome to math time. We're going to be doing lesson 10.8. First thing you do, write your name at the top. Okay, so let's get started. This one says combinations to 10. Color the circles to show the two sets. So what we want to do here is we want to have two markers and we're going to do that to color in how to make 10 with two different colors. Okay? Two different amounts. So this first amount is always going to be my one color. Always choose one color to be your first one. So this says how many? Five. I'm going to color one, two, three, four, Five. So this is always going to tell me how many to color my first color. Well, now I have to color the rest because I know this whole 10 frame equals 10. So I color that my next color. And how many did I color my second color? That's going to be my fill in the blank right here. One, two, three, four, five. So I write five up here. Five and five make 10, because there's five of this and five of this. Okay, so I'm also going to write the number sentence maybe down here. I'm gonna write five plus five equals 10. I want you guys to get used to writing those number sentences as well. Okay, let's go across to this one right here. So, what number is this one here? Seven. Seven tells me I'm going to color how many circles my first color? Seven. Good. So let me color seven circles. Let's see. How many do I have so far? One, two, three, four, five. Got to keep going. Six, seven. Okay. I need to equal ten. So I know I have to color them all in. So I'm going to grab my second color and color in all of these. How many did I color purple? Three, good. So seven and three make 10. I'm also gonna write that as a number sentence. Seven plus three equals 10. All right, let's do one more right here. Let's see. What's this first number? Two, good. So two tells me I have to color two circles green, my first color. Now, I need to get to 10. All of these circles, they all equal 10. So I'm just gonna color in the rest of my circles and let's see how many I'm coloring so far. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how many did I color purple? Eight, good. So two and eight make 10. Or we can say two plus eight equals 10. Okay, so hope everybody sees how to do that. You can pause the video if you need a little bit more time. I want you to finish all of the rest of these on your own. Take a picture and turn it into Google Classroom. Have a great day, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to math, lesson 10.8. We're going to write our name at the top. Here we go. 
All right, so this one says write the missing number to make 10. So you should have a marker, a pencil, something to write with over here. And 10 of the Unifex cubes, I sent these home with you, so you should have 10 of one color. I think I sent two colors home, so that you had 20. Okay, so what we're gonna do for this one, I know some of you don't have dice or anything like that, so we're just gonna use the cubes instead. We're gonna look at the number here and see how many are missing so that we can get 10. So what's this number here? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna write the number six right here so that I know that I have six. Okay, and then I'm gonna count six cubes, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me break that off. Here is my six. How many do I have left over? One, two, three, four. So six and four make 10. Right, so I'm gonna write the four here, and I'm also gonna write the whole number sentence, okay? Six plus four equals 10. All right, so that's how we're gonna do this page here. Here comes the next one. Let's see, I have all 10 of mine together. So right now I have how many? Zero, right. So zero over here plus how many is gonna get me to 10? Well, if I have nothing, right, I have nothing in my hands, I need all 10, right, to get to 10. So I'm gonna write 10 here. I wrote zero plus 10 equals 10. Let's do another one here. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine right here. Let me count my nine cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I break that off. Here are my nine. Nine plus how many equals 10? How many do I have left over? One, right. So I put that here, write my one. Nine plus one equals 10. Okay, so you guys see how to do it? I want you to fill out the rest of this by yourselves or with help from your parents and then turn it in on Google Classroom. Hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Hi guys, welcome to Relaxation Station for our Friday. Um, I wanna hear how good your day was today on Fun Friday. Hopefully, you guys get to make like maybe like a fun snack at home. Um, maybe ask mom or dad to maybe help you make some sort of insect snack. That would be really cool. You can maybe take like something as the body and put little things as the legs. Maybe put something as the antenna. So get creative with it. All right, and then if you do that, I want you to take a picture, send it to me, because then I'll send it out to the class, okay? So something good that happened to me today, it was fun Friday, so you know what that means for me. I get to sleep a little bit later. My boys don't have as much work on Friday, so I don't have to wake up as early. Uh, Matthew was pretty much done, and Aiden was pretty much done, which was great. So we get to just kind of like spend the day together and just hang out, maybe take a drive. Um, so what's something good that you did today? Let's listen, all right? Ooh, I like that. All right, so I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm going to see you back on Monday, and uh, I want to hear all about your weekend on Monday, all right? Have a great one. I love you, and I miss you all so much. My Cody, my Everly, my Alexa, Liam, Mason, and my Hunter. All right, I'll see you guys later. Mwah. Bye.